Whole genome sequencing is a technology that allows us to look at all of the genes within our cells. We have over 22,000 genes and they determine the color of our eyes, they determine the color of our hair, how tall we're going to be. Everything that goes on in our body are containing the instructions that those genes hold. So whole genome sequencing allows us to look at all of those genes and determine if there's a change in one of those genes that could result in an underlying genetic condition. So many of our families have children that are born with various clinical features, whether it's that they're having some developmental delays or they were born with a different, a congenital difference. And these families would like an answer as to why their children were born with these clinical findings. Sometimes that they just want an answer and sometimes they want to know if there's some available treatment that their children could receive. Whole well, genome sequencing is a technology that can sometimes give us answers to those questions and hopefully allow treatment for these individuals. Many times children that have various clinical features, they're born with congenital birth difference or developmental delays, come to the attention of their caring physician and are referred for whole genome sequencing to try to find an answer as to why they're experiencing these features. In that process, we get blood from both of their parents, if they're available, and the patient. And that blood is sent to a laboratory to examine all of the genes to see if we can determine why that child is having those clinical features. For whole genome sequencing, we need the blood of both parents, if they're available, and the patient. It's sent to our laboratory partners, and usually results are available within about four to six weeks. Once we receive results, the parents and the child are brought back in, and we discuss those results with the parents, what they mean, and what the next steps are for the child and the family. So these results can be really impactful for families. Many families, especially those families that have been going through a very long diagnostic process, they've had many genetic uh, tests before, these results can give them an answer. They finally have an answer. And in some ways it can also be helpful for family members if it's something that may increase the risk for these issues in other family members. It can be very important for that as well. And finally, it can be important for the family in terms of recurrence risk. So if they were to like to have other children, what are the chances that they could have another child with something similar?